Hello all, and welcome to tonight's Torah portion. Before I get started, I'm going to say your blessing. Blessed art thou, Donai Elohim, you king of the universe, who has sanctified us with his commandments, and commanded us to engross ourselves with the words of Torah. Please, Adonai Elohim, you speak the words of your Torah in our mouths, and in the mouths of all your people, as you may be, and our offspring, the offspring of your people. The house of Israel, may we all together know your name and study your Torah for sake of fulfilling your desire. Bless you, Adonai, who teaches Torah to his people, Israel. Bless you, Adonai, Elihim, you king of the universe, who chose us from all the nations and gave us the Torah. Bless you, Adonai, giver the Torah. May Adonai bless you and keep watch over you. May Adonai make his presence here and let you may be kind to you. May Adonai bestow favor on you and grant you peace. Today's read is Hebrews 8.1. This is the first read. Now the point in what we are saying is this, we have such a high priest, one who is seated at the right hand of the throne of the mag majesty in heaven, a minister to the holy places, in the true tent, Sorry, that the Lord set up, not man, for every high priest is appointed to offer gifts and sacrifices, thus it is necessary, for this priest also to have something to offer. Now, if he were on earth, he would not be a priest at all, since there are priests who offer gifts according to the law. They serve a copy and shadow of the heavenly things. For when Moses was about to erect a tent, he was instructed by Elohim, saying, See that you make everything according to the pattern that is shown you on the mountain. But as, but as it is, Hamashiach has obtained a ministry that is as much more excellent then the old, as the covenant he mediates, is better, since it is enacted on better promises. Hebrews 9, 23 through 24. Thus it was necessary for the copies of the heavenly things to be purified with these rites, but the heavenly things themselves with better sacrifices than these, for Hamashiach has entered, not into a holy place made with the hands, which are copies of true things, but into heaven itself, now to appear in the presence of Elohim on our behalf. Hebrew 10.1 For since the law was but a shadow of the good things to come, instead of the true form of these realities, it can never, by the same sacrifices that are continually offered every year, make perfect those who draw near. Since this is the last video, I have one question. How are all these related? Thank you for watching.